hello everyone welcome to rpa learners and in this video we're going to see how to schedule an open rpa flow right uh, first let us go ahead and see uh, the open rpa flow that we are using today and if you see here we have a simple flow which says uh, show notification it will show a notification which is rpa learners at the bottom here and we are working on the demo flow right we can schedule each flow as a different process in open rpa and or you can invoke the other workflows inside the ma main workflow if you make it as a demo as a main flow and you can invoke using an open rpa flow activity and you can invoke other flows according to your sequence of steps right for now this is our flow that we are going to see how to schedule this particular flow in open rpa uh, to schedule it first we need to go to open flow here if you uh, click here and you can see open flow and node red open flow is a centralized uh, platform where you can see all the workflows related to open rpa studio and node red is where you can schedule those flows so firstly we will see open flow and where we can see the information of the workflows and later we will see how to schedule it and if you see here if you haven't created your email in the open iap uh, go ahead and create enter your email id and the password and if you click on sign it, it will automatically create your instance and um, my instance is already created so i'm uh, logging in with the google id and let me log in first in the other screen with a google id and after logging in you will see a screen something like this um the open flow and these are some this uh, when you go to rpa workflows right you need to go to rpa workflows in order to see the flows in open rpa studio and they, i in open rpa i have four different flows and if you go here in the open project you can see one two three four four different flows in the studio so i am seeing them here and this is the project rpa learners and this is a new project project and then the workflow so you can execute it from here right so let's see the demo if you click here you can execute that from here it will start the process and if you see the demo remotely started and there is a show notification which is rpa learners so this is one way of uh, executing this you can execute it from here and the other way is to schedule this particular process in node red if you click on node red here first of all you need to create an ordered instance if it is not activated or not created after creating that you can open the node red from here or you can open the node red from the studio as well so after coming here there are two different ways that you can uh, schedule this one is using the inject node and the other one is using a cron expression cron node right and this on the left side you you call this as palettes and this is the workflow space and this is the sidebar on the right hand side and top is the header and what are the main things that you need to consider here is one you need to deploy every time you are making some changes to this flow so that it will be updated if you don't deploy it the old flow will execute it and that's it uh, let's first let me show you how to execute a process uh, using the inject node from here and then we will see cron so firstly you need to um, search for inject inject and just drag and drop it here after that um, we have the inject right so let me um, drag this robot to execute our process and if you you need to attach these two And when you click on this timestamp, we can provide the name, or let's just leave as it is. It will take this particular name, whatever you are selecting here. And it is message dot payload. It if you want to send any JSON data before starting a process to the pro to the process, you can send that from here. Let's uh, let's say we are send we need to send a string or we need to send a number uh, let's say we need to send a string which is rpa learners right 
you are sending it as a message payload and if you go down uh, if you want to add uh, more additional to the package you, you can add it here this is another object and this is one object and you can add topic dot name and you can give the name as well uh, those are the two different objects after that uh, if you see here uh, there is an option called repeat by default it is none if you um, click here we can see one is the interval and the interval between times and that is specific time if you click on interval it will ask you to select the time whether it is in seconds minutes and hours every how many seconds it need to start and let's say uh, i want this to execute uh, every five seconds right and interval and this is these are my object payloads and if i click on done and if you go to rpa workflow here uh, if you double click that you need to select the robot in which robot it need to execute it is my email id and after that what is the workflow that you are executing now we are executing the demo workflow we need to select that flow and if there are any instances that are already running this particular flow you need if you want to kill them and then start it new we can select these two checkboxes it will kill all the running flows and it will start this or if you want this particular flow to be killed so these two checkboxes are for that you can select if you want that and this is the node name uh, if you click if you select a, any name that will be displayed here that is node name and if you click on done if you, you can see that it is rpa now and let's deploy it uh, it is going to activate this particular node red flow if you deploy it only right uh, you can click on deploy then you can see it is successfully deployed and it is connected as well and if you can go to here debug if you want to see any debug values and you can see it is already started once after five seconds it is started again after five seconds it will again start the process so this is how you can schedule it using the inject we are not doing anything it is triggering the flow for every five seconds and if you want to stop this you can do that as well just double click here and just change the interval to none and click on done and then click on deploy so it won't start for every five seconds now because we haven't create given the values for it an interval to execute it if you are not giving any interval to execute from the inject node you just need to start this and it will start the process this is something like an attended process you will have uh, 10 or 12 flows to the process automation and you you will have 12 inject nodes here if you want to start this inject or this particular flow you can start that or if, if you want to second flow you can start the second flow or if you want to execute the third flow you, you can execute the third flow as well so that is like an attended automation that is visible here you can click on this and it will start that particular process and it will also send you um, uh, the message that we are sending in the inject let's uh, see that particular message object as well uh, there is another node which is debug which will sh which will show you the uh, output that is coming from a particular node and it will show here if you see here there is a debug mode and if you click on that particular console you can able to see all the debug values that are this particular flow is doing and if you click on deploy and you can see that here and if i start this if you you need to click on this particular button here and if you see here i got an object which is message payload and the string is rpa learners if you want to see the whole object here it is only taking output which is payload which is from the payload and we don't need payload we need the whole complete message object then you can uh, take the complete message object click on done and click on deploy and if you click here and you can see uh, the complete message object which is coming as an input for the rpa bot from the inject node which is message id and the payload is rpa learners and there is another object which is topic inside that we have a property called name which is aditya so this is how you can uh, pass an input to the robot and you can trigger it or you can schedule it from here as well it is also using the cron expression to schedule it this node as well now um, 
this is one way of triggering the process uh, from using the inject node and i will show you the another uh, way that you can uh, schedule this uh, other way is directly installing the cron um, palette and then using that particular node for that uh, i already installed it i will show you where you can install this you can, if you can see here it is showing a cron and i will show you that and if you go here on the three buttons here the toggle button here on the right side and if you see here there is an option called manage palettes or you can press ctrl alt p um, if you click on manage palettes this particular user settings screen will appear where if you see here i have a node red uh, palette already installed and a node red contrib con you need to install this uh, you need to search for uh, this particular name uh, if you go to install and search modules and you can install this particular module here which i am using and after installing this you can close that and you can able to see this particular input cron here and if you just drag and drop it here and we have this cron now and we also need to have a robot which need to execute the process so let me select um, a robot which is aditya and the workflow is the demo workflow and we click on done and just we will connect this particular flow now uh, we need to schedule it right how we can schedule it if you double click on cron and you can name it or you just leave it as it is and we need to give the cron expression here uh, let's say i want to execute this for every five seconds again you need to see cron expression you need to see the verify the or uh, you can go to online and search for the cron expression this is this will execute for every five seconds and let's click on done and let's deploy it and see and we all let's also uh, take a message object here or the debug object let's delete this and let's connect it here and we can able to see the output from here let's delete all and then let's deploy it and this need to execute um, this particular flow for every five seconds uh, let's see um, uh, I guess it it is not five seconds I guess it is five minutes which I have given here uh, let's say for every one minute I click on done and deploy and let's see whether it will start this process after one minute um, and we can able to, able to see the debug options as well and these are the two different ways that you can um, schedule a process in a flow and in an ordered flow you can have um, n number of um, flows like inside you can have a nodes uh, this is let's say this is for one process I want to execute every morning and this is another process I want to execute every afternoon so i will have these two in a single flow so that i can uh, come here and then just click on this button it will start executing it right and this is um these are the two different ways one is using the cron expression and one is using the rp um, inject node let's wait for that it is doing anything and you can see that after one minute it started this particular process and and you can also see the debug um, message which is a payload this is this time it is a number it is not we are not passing any uh, payload here as an input but in the inject node we are passing the payload as an input and we have uh, other objects as well if you want to create any other objects you can create that and i will i will show you the other ways of doing it as well let me <coughs> cancel this uh, let me delete these nodes and click on deploy so that it won't execute again and this time uh, if you go to rpa learners i will show you uh, the intervals of scheduling it as well uh, we have only seen the interval um, which every second or every minute that you can execute the process there is another thing which is interval between times if you click on that every how many minutes that you want to execute this process and between um which time and which time let's say i want to execute it from 11 to 12 and i want it to execute for every 10 minutes if let's say if you don't know how to write cron you can use this uh, for every 10 minutes from 11 to 12 it is it is going to execute this particular flow uh, which i am selected in the rpa node and if you want a particular day to be excluded 
then you can exclude that from here let's say i want to execute this apart from running it on friday i want to execute it now all other days just you can just simply uncheck it and you can leave other things or you want to run it only on monday on this particular time you can simply select that and deselect everything and there is another way another uh, one which is at specific time let's say you want to run it only at a specific time at once um, maybe you want to run it on 12 o'clock every day then you can select at a specific time or in, if it is an interval you can select this one interval between times or it is only for every five minutes on the 24 by 7 then you can select interval between 11 to 12 and you want to run it for 10 minutes every time then it is interval between times and if you want to run it only once in a day it is at a specific time so these are the three different ways of scheduling it the three different types of scheduling it and these are the two different ways that you can schedule it from the node red uh, using open rpa and i guess uh, now you got uh, the point of scheduling in open rpa and now you can schedule it and this is um, the entire process let's say after you creating a uh, process in open rpa and then um scheduling it in the node rate like creating a process and automating it, it in the unattended mode and that's it um for this video if you like this video please give it a like if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please consider subscribing for more videos thanks for watching